Just want to vent a little bit. I'm beginning to not like church anymore. And I'm not talking about praising God and giving him all the praises. I will always do that every time I place a little piece of my feet on the ground. I, I rejoice. And every time before I go to bed, I'm on my knees. I don't pray on my stomach. I pray on my knees. I don't pray on my back. I get down on my knees. But today, you know, I had my jeans on and, you know, regular clothes because, you know, I'm in and out. I got so many things to do today. And I know heaven is a prepared place for prepared people. But today, when I went to go show my respects to, you know, one of my friend's parents, the church members, they stared at me so bad they made me feel so uncomfortable. Sometimes church folks can make you feel like you don't even belong, but yet we are there for one common denominator or one common reason, and that is to praise God. And, and I'm so glad that God doesn't judge how you're dressed. I'm so glad. And I'm so glad that I'm wise enough to know that you can go to church every day, but don't mean you know the word. I'm so glad that I'm wise enough to know that the same God that, that they pray to is the same God I pray to because it's one God. And I know that he loves me. And I know that I love him. But I just felt uncomfortable and I just think that as people, we got to stop judging people for, for how they dress or how, you know, they look. And take time to understand that we're human. You don't know what nobody is going through. You can't judge people from what you see. You got to judge them for how they treat you. They're bums on the street that are say good morning quicker than a person who has a nine to five. You got to stop judging the little people or the mid-level people as people would say. That's what's wrong with our community. We judge so much that we always bypass the good guys. And the good guys only be remembered when they're killed or a tragedy happens. But anyway. What's up, everybody? Hope all is well with you. I uh, wanted to touch on this yet again today and uh, kind of go over it. Oh, I got fat under my arms. Uh, and go over this again, okay? Um, what I want to... Hey, Miss Tabitha, what I really want to talk about is this today. Hey, Paul, and that is... I know Marcus Rogers wants all the LGBTQ... Uh, dead and gone. I know he wants everybody wiped off the face of the earth and nobody left but straight Christian people. But uh, my thought is this. Hey, Timothy. Hey, um, hey, Timmy and Mark and Charity. Hey, y'all. But, and they, hey, love, how you doing? My thing is this. I know that there are more people out here like Marcus that see that the LGBTQ are a waste of God's time. The LGBTQ are a disdain to God and all this other stuff like that. Okay. But, and I do understand that, you know, you all don't read your Bibles correctly or whatever the case may be. But um, at the end of the day, I'm going to tell you like this. Whether you LGBTQ or whether you are heterosexual, what you call norm, um, all lives matter, okay? All lives matter. All lives matter. Okay, all lives matter. What I want you to really do, what I want you to really do is get creative and think about all of these lives that have been killed senselessly, okay? Okay? All of these lives that have been killed senselessly, senselessly. Hey, Janelle. Hey, Freddie. Do you, do you understand? Like people are being killed for just being who they are. And to me, that is absolutely, 
That's absolutely ridiculous. Y'all put a little beet juice on my face this morning, so that's why I look like this. It's absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But these individuals think that this stuff is okay. And so, um, I just, I just wanted to, act, I wanted to really just touch on that and ask that question. Is this, is this the norm? Hey, Mr. Brown, is this, is this going to be the norm? You, un you understand what I'm saying? Is this going to be the norm that we sit here and we subject ourselves to foolishness like this? Hey, Javante, you, you get what I'm saying? Is, is this the norm for the church? For the church people, church people don't care. I'm tell, I'm serious. If y'all sit back, y'all sit back and you look at this. Y'all sit back and y'all look at this. And I'm not, I'm not taking this opportunity to just, just straight come from Marcus Rogers. But you, you the topic at hand right now. So it's okay to allow people to be pedophiles. It's okay to allow people to rape young children. It's okay for the Catholic priest and Pope, hey Hugo, to um, rape these babies, impregnate the, the nuns and things of that nature. It's okay. It's okay for that to go on. Um, it's okay for these straight men, for these straight men to rape and kill these young babies and take them from one state to another state and bury their bodies. You're okay with that. You, you know, Marcus, you know, you're okay with that because nobody's speaking out on this. Nobody, nobody is speaking out on this. And that's a problem. You understand? That's a problem. Nobody is speaking out on this. Everybody's quiet. The whole church community is quiet. But I see y'all want to sit up here and just rest in peace, rest in peace, Malia Davis. Re rest in peace, R rest in peace. So did nobody feel nothing in the spirit? Did this, this why, this why, this is why, this is why I'm hot. 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 Okay. This is why I'm hot. This is why I'm hot. Y'all want to sit up here and put rest in peace, Malia Davis. But this was done by a heterosexual black man. So black community, we got a problem. Black mothers, we have a problem. You want to sit up here and judge the gays. But your so-called straight boyfriend, straight fiance raped your daughter. And killed your daughter and drug her remains from one state to another and tried to hide her. But y'all want to blame the gays. The gays didn't do that. But y'all don't speak again. Y'all don't talk. Y'all don't talk about none of this. Y'all and, and, and y'all don't talk about none of this stuff. None of it. None. None of it. None of it. None of it. You don't talk about none of this stuff. <laughs> You don't talk about none of this stuff, but yet and still we continue to bash. We continue to be okay with the slaughtering and the genocide of LGBTQ transgender women, uh, gay little children that go to school and they constantly be battered and abused and bullied. You're okay with, you're okay with that. This is so frustrating to me. It is so frustrating to me that these little kids go to school and get picked on and they don't even know their sexuality. They're just picked on. They're just picked on. See, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell y'all something. See, it would be it would be something if I was on here dragging somebody, spilling the tea, spilling the gossip. It, Baby, I would have about two, three hundred people on here right now. If I was on here spilling all the beans on the presiding bishop, it would be, baby, I have a whole lot. But because, but because, Kevin, I'm saying we need to be more accountable. We need to be more accountable to our own. We need to be accountable to these children. 
We need to be more accountable to these babies. Nobody's saying nothing. Did I did I did I miss something in the memo? Did I miss something in the memo right there? These babies. These babies. These babies. I I, I saw I saw something with 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 uh what was it? Marlon Wayans. Marlon Wayans celebrated his daughter just being who she was. And everybody in the comments talking about don't support that stuff. Don't support that stuff. That is that man's daughter. And if she can't run to him, then who can she run to? It is Marlon Wayans' job to love his daughter regardless and whatever. That is his child. He's going to love his child regardless. And he's going to stand up for her. Period. Now, you can preach on that all day long. You can make statuses about that all day long. But that's that man's child. But see, I don't see none of y'all standing up for your kids. I don't see none of you all standing up for your children. These kids go out here and get bullied. Get bullied, get picked on. And this is the problem. Y'all talk, we need the village back. Okay, well, see, in the village, we protect one another. Hey, Auntie Pat, in the village, we protect one another. In the village, we love one another. Let me tell y'all something, since my auntie on here. I remember when uh, I used to go to Turo, Arkansas. That's where a lot of my family is from. Uh, Turo, Arkansas. In Turo, Arkansas, it was a little town that you just drove right through. But in that town, it was like different sections. It did not matter where you went in that town. Everybody knew who you were in that town. It didn't matter where you went in that town. People protected you in that town. They knew you was Joseph May grandson. They knew you was Betty May niece or nephew. They knew you was uh, Jeanette's son. They knew you was Willie Jive's grandson. And they was going to make sure whatever happened to you, you was on your best behavior, period. They was going to make sure that you were on your best behavior. Why? Because they believed in protecting their own and making sure that you were okay. When you went to the corner store, Auntie Pat, you know what I'm talking about. When you went to the corner store, because we had a corner store with a Chinese man, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chinaman, he owned the corner store, the candy store, and all this other stuff like that. Went to the corner store, we had a little bill. If we acted up at the store, or Mr. Chinaman um, saw us doing something, he made sure, he made sure that he told somebody in my family what was going on with Demario. Feel me? If I was walking around Turo, Arkansas with my cousins, them, he made sure that not Demario or, or Demetrius or, or Erica, yeah, y'all make sure y'all make it home on time. Now the lights getting, yeah, the lights getting low. You get, 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 you, you feel what I'm saying? So we don't have that anymore. We don't have that anymore. So my question is, it's every man for himself. And God for us all. Oh yes, baby, we live in a different time and it's a different kind of trust. But see, when we start, when we start, here's here's the problem, y'all. When we start saying to one another, you can't tell my child what to do. That's my child. Well, you can't tell, you can't put your hand on my child. That's my child. I'm going to kick your so-and-so woobity woo 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 See, the problem is we used to watch out for our kids. We used to watch out for one another. I remember uh, this wasn't that long ago. I was a daycare teacher. Um, I was a daycare supervisor. And I was also a, a school teacher. Okay? I was also a school teacher. And... Being all of these things, I developed such a love and a protection for these young children that I had to watch over. You understand that I had to watch over. And 
I had such a passion for it. I had such a passion for it that, you know, whenever something happened to one of my kids, and yes, I said my children, anything happened to my kids, I was very concerned and I was very worried about them. I talked to their parents, I talked to their parent, I talked to their grandparents, and I wanted to make sure that they were okay. Because these children that I was watching over became my concern, my, my devotion, my property. Because they're in my care. I had, I remember one of my students, one of my students in Minnesota, he said, Mr. Mario, I'm gay. Just like that. Mr. Mario, I'm gay. I said, okay. What do you want me to do? Like, okay. Just behave yourself. Don't be out here fighting because the little boy loved to fight. So, you know, I'm not going to sit there. You know, the God said, baby, let me tell you something. That was a, that, that, oh God, what was that little boy's name? It don't even matter right now. But that little baby was what, like 11, 12, something like that. And he already knew what it was. And I remember he talked to me. Little man talked to me. He was like, Mario, you know, he got a fight when he at home. Uh, his stepdaddy don't like him. You know, his only friends is his sisters. So in essence, you are the extension of what they feel is family. You are an extension to what they consider as family. And if again, like, like, like Yolanda Adams, Tanika said, if they can't run to you, then where can he roam? Such a foolish girl. Yet she is your daughter. I had these little children that would come to me because they felt that at least they can come talk to somebody. At least they can come talk to somebody. But see, this is the, this is the problem. These young people nowadays, these young people nowadays, these young people nowadays can't run to nobody. So they feel like whatever happens to them in life, it's the card that's dealt. It's the card that's, de it's the card that's dealt to them. But see, that's not accurate and that's not factual. Because it's not the card that's dealt. It's because you don't have the right people around you. All of the transgender girls, all the transgender boys that are out here, they feel like they don't have nobody else. So they drink themselves to death. And they continue on doing the same thing all the time because they feel like this is their life. You are loved. Know that you are loved. But back to my initial part. Marcus Rogers feels like the LGBTQ needs to be wiped off the face of the earth. And my thing is this. You sound just like racist white people. That's what you sound like. But you know what? You didn't marry a black girl, but you're black. You're a brown person. So maybe you feel like you're a step up above black people. Maybe you feel like you are not a part of the minority people of color community because you've married a white or Porter or light, somebody that looks white. So you want to be out here, Sailor, he wants to be out here preaching Jesus, hell foundation and the resurrection but you want people to die because they don't fit in to your particular Christianity okay but does the Bible also say 
Does the Bible also say, for God so loved the world that he gave? Hey, Miss Pat. You say that you want to be more like Jesus. What is this? Oh. You say that you want to be more like Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, you did. Hey, Shay. Jesus loved everybody. He did. He loved everybody. The Bible also says that if I be lifted up, It says, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men. So why? So let's let's pause right there. Jesus said, words came down from heaven, came down from God. Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men. Shea, Shay. He said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men. So let's pause there. Why aren't we lifting up the Lord? Hey, Miss Angela, Miss Angelique, hey, love. Why aren't we lifting up God, Yahweh? Why aren't we lifting up Christ, the Son? Why? I forgot, y'all have made things your idols. You have, according to the scripture, you have made vain idols. You have made idols. You've made, you've made Jesus an idol. And he said, all the glory. He said, all the glory. Jesus said this, all the glory, all the praise goes to God. That's what he said. He said, all the glory all the praise goes to God. It's not that you worship me, but he said, I came to do a job. I came to be that light. I came to be that light so that you could see the light and be directed back to him, back to the father. I came to be the light. But see, y'all out here preaching. Uh -huh. Yes, I am tasting myself. Y'all out here preaching, y'all out here condemning, y'all out here bashing and, and telling folks they're going to hell. Meanwhile, while you're wanting and have such a passion that gays be killed and are dead, your baby's being raped and molested by straight men and straight women. You ain't going to say nothing about that issue. But you're so concerned about homosexuals being beat, killed, and shot up and, and, and thrown in rivers and stuff. This is why I said, I have a problem with church. I have a problem with the church. I do. Hey, Omar, I have a problem with the church. Because you preach everything. You preach everything. But what you need to be preaching you preach everything but salvation. You preach everything but hope in God. You preach everything but love and unity and power. Preach everything. You want to preach about Sodom and Gomorrah? You want to preach about Sodom and Gomorrah? Preach it right. Sodom and Gomorrah was not killed or was not destroyed because of the gays. Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed because they were inhospitable. To the, to, to the messengers that God sent in there. They were destroyed because they had the pride in their eye. Yeah. Let's, let's, hey Trey, let's talk about, let's talk about, let's talk about how even this world has such a distaste for the gays. But they don't seem to say nothing about the Catholic Church. They have such a distaste for the gays, but they don't mind these grown men. They don't mind these grown men raping these little children. You have such a distaste for the for the gays. 
But yet and still, these women are being beat and battered. Hey, LaCoya, these men are beating their wives. Y'all ain't gonna say nothing about that. 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 These women go and be first ladies and they get the hell beat out of them. Y'all don't say y'all don't say nothing about that. But y'all church mothers say, we doing the work of the Lord. Y'all tell me when it, last time beating, getting beat down and all kind of stuff like this doing the work of the Lord. Y'all tell me. Tell me. I just personally want to know. King. Prince. Shoot it up. Stop, boy. Come on. Explain that. Explain that to me. I just personally want to know that. I personally want to know that. Y'all so concerned about these homosexuals, but you're not looking at the Pope. Jamie said the Pope is trying to sign a one world religion with the Islam. Let's talk about that. But the Catholic Church, the Catholic Church is one of the biggest organizations that have the most child abuse, child rape, child molestation, um, having sex with young children. Having babies with the nuns and killing the babies and burying them. Hey. What's up? Do y'all hear me? Hmm? Hey. Do you hear me? Hmm? Do you hear me out there? So what I want you to do is, is, is take a different, take a retrospective look within. Yeah. Take a retrospective look within and understand I got nieces and nephews and children right here. I got nieces and nephews and children. I got nieces and nephews and children. I will protect mine at all cost. Yeah, I will. I'll protect mine at all cost. I love to see my kids play. I love to see them have fun. Just a smile on their face means the world to me. I see my gay brothers and sisters and trans sisters and brothers. And like I just said, they're my sisters and brothers. We are one on this earth. No matter where you come from, no matter your creed, no matter your color. I was watching something on, um, oh God, Netflix yesterday about how the Puerto Ricans, the Puerto, the Puerto Ricans, <laughs> the Puerto Ricans, how they was misplaced after Hurricane after Hurricane Maria, and how the government did them. Y'all, you see how America does people. You know, I, I, I was talking to my sister last night. Hey, Derek, I was talking to my sister last night and I said, y'all think these amendments was written for y'all, but it, they weren't. These amendments were written for these rich white men. The Declaration of Independence was not written for us. It was written for the white people. Because they were escaping from England. Y'all, y'all don't, y'all read your history. When they signed the Declaration of Independence, you got to read what it say. Feel me? You got to read what it say. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, only the rich white men. The rich white men, right? Period. Um, The 13th Amendment was not written. None of these amendments were written for us. They were written for the white people, the rich white people. And we don't even talk about that. But we we happen to nowadays take advantage of that. Hey, Xavier. We have to take we we now we're taking advantage of that. But I'm going to say this again and I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. Hey, Twan, I'm not going to stop. And that is this. You cannot preach Jesus. You cannot preach God. And you got all of this malice and hate in your heart. It won't work. It don't work. Jamie, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I know you white. I've been known you was white. I've been known you was white. We, you know, it is what it is. But see, the funny part about it is about all this stuff that I'm talking about. I look at history, how they did the less fortunate white people. You was considered garbage. And the less fortunate white people had to work their butt off just to be something in this world. Just to be something. This is why. This is why amongst the white community, they they scuffle and bustle so hard just to get ahead because they know if they are successful they don't have to deal with what the low class deal with see as being black as being black that that's that's one as being black you gotta scuffle and bustle to get to success and once you get to success your next goal is to be in the one percent your next goal is to be in the one percent so that you don't have to deal with what the low class deal with now for for the folks that's black and, or colored and gay oh honey you gotta you gotta look the part you gotta act the part and you gotta hide anything that can be considered an ill to what society what to what society thinks right so so to all my gays this is how it is in the community they want you to hide who you are they want you to hide who you are that's going to put you in success if you are gay if you are gay you need to hide who you are and marry somebody that you can hide yourself and be successful meanwhile meanwhile you can cheat you can do whatever everything but you just need to look the part oh that's society that's society that's how society works this is why you had all these successful white men had all these side pieces and side chicks and side men and carrying on because you didn't know nothing about it. But because we have we have social media now, all of this stuff comes out. You have all these side pieces and things of that nature and all of this stuff is not even heard of it. But when things start coming out, you're like, what? I thought he was straight. You have a form. You have a form that looks the part. You have a form. You have a form that looks the part. Yeah, you do. You have a form that looks the part. This is why, y'all want me to talk about these preachers? This is why preachers and pastors get away with the things that they get away with because they have what society considers. You have what society considers a form. You preachers, you preachers, you preachers, you preachers, you preachers, you preachers, you have a form. You can lay up and sleep and do all kinds of things of that nature 
and you go back to church and preach. And the reason why it's accepted is because you have a form. You have a form. It's accept. You know, you know the reason why we can look over Matthew Stevenson, mess around with Jose Amaro and everything like that. You know why we can look over that? He has a wife and children. We can look over it. He can, baby, he can sashay, girl. Yes, honey. Yes, ma'am. You need to go fix your wig, girl. You need to go fix your breast, girl. Travis Jennings, you fix your wig, girl. Lift them breast up, girl. Lift them breast up. You know why we can accept all of that? You know why we can accept all of that? Because they have a wife and they have children and they look the part. Oh, they look straight. They look straight. Hey, Brian. They look straight. Hey, Rashawn. They look straight so we can accept it. And we'll smooth it on over. Oh, the bishop in New York and his son raped, raped the man's daughter and his granddaughter. We can look over it because they were married, had children. And we ain't going to never say nothing about what the foolishness that they do because they were married and straight. We could say, we just praying for them. We just praying for them. Ain't nothing but the devil. It's just the devil. No, why, why do we blame the devil? Why do we blame the devil for all of this foolishness that people do when they are undisciplined? Hell. Hey, I feel these words about to, I feel these words coming. Why? Why do we give, hey, Joseph, why do we sit up here and make excuses for people and blame the devil when these are individuals who are undisciplined? They're undisciplined. They, 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 they don't love their wives, so they, they, they cheat. They cheat because that's not what they want. That's not what they want. That ain't what they want. You married somebody for the sake of church. You married somebody for the sake of acceptance. Now, this ain't all, this ain't all straight people, but for the majority, y'all Hermain sections, you married people, and some of the straight people do this too. You marry people for the sake of acceptance and moving up the ladder. Half y'all got churches because y'all were able to marry somebody who had something and y'all were able to move up the ladder. I got one for you. Baby, baby, uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, please don't let this Herman sexual stuff fool you. If I wanted to pull a chick, I can. And I will. Don't get it twisted. Because, baby, all this sexual goodness over here, baby, I ain't never lacking for nothing. But see, I choose not to play them games with nobody. Period. I got good, 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 good girlfriends. Okay? I got good girlfriends. I'm not going to play with nobody's life. I'm not going to play with nobody. Somebody called me and said, you know, Mario, they used to talk about how good your work was, how good it is. But every time somebody talk about you, it's talk about them. They want to talk about you being gay. That's all they want to talk about is me being gay. I'm fabulous. Ah! <laughs> I'm fabulous. That's what it is. I'm fabulous. And I'm all you want to talk about. Praise God. I'm fabulous. I'm wonderful. Wonderfully made. Baby, all this sexual goodness over here, babe. Please. Woo. What you said? Baby, hey, listen, let me tell y'all something. Let me, let, me, let me just, let me be vulnerable for a second and open and honest. Baby, Ann Woman would love to have a, a, a old piece of Carmel chocolate like me. Woo, child. Baby, to have me on their arms. Baby, hey, what? I'm not finna play no games with y'all, though. I'm not finna play no games. Period. I'm not, oh, baby, I know, I know, sugar foots. I know, woo, sha, pa, 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 see. Listen, I know I would look good on some female's arm. I know I look, I know I would, baby. I know I would. Baby, they the trophy. And we both trophies. How about that? How about that? But we got too many games going on in this world. We got too many people that, that look the part, but they got side pieces and you ain't happy. So why mess up somebody's life and you ain't happy? 
Huh? Why mess up somebody's life and you ain't happy? Why mess up somebody's life and you ain't happy? You only got married for the sake of, I'm going to be a pastor. You only got married because you, you, I'm going to give you a position. I'm going to make you a superintendent of the superintendents. I'm going to put you over the bishops. I'm going to make you a bishop. I'm going to give you this position in the organization. Does the organization come with money? Does the organization come with benefits? Y'all first ladies. Hey, granny. Oh, Lord, my grandma here, y'all. So, y'all, I've been behaving. So, y'all can't say I have not because I have. Y'all say hey to my grandma. She is on Facebook. <laughs> and my grandma's been very worried about me being hey, behaving. And y'all just let her know I've been on my best behavior. Anyways, but... People do these things. People do these things. And yet and still, they don't understand the price that they pay. You don't understand the things that... Okay, we're good. All right, so I just had... My phone died, so I had to get my other one. Um, anyways, while we're out here playing these games with people's lives and things and nature and stuff like this, the Bible says like this, what profit a man that gained the whole world? And lose his soul. What profit a man to gain the whole world. And lose his soul. What, what profit. What profit a man to gain the whole world. And lose his soul. Y'all jumping out to all this stuff. You doing all these things. But the scripture says. What profit a man to gain the whole world. And lose his soul. You sacrifice. Y'all think sacrifice is the Illuminati. But you sacrifice your life. You sacrifice your well-being. You sacrifice. You sacrifice the lives of your children that you brought in this world. Meanwhile, you live in secrets. You sacrifice truth. You can't even love. You can't even you can't even love your children right. You cannot even love your children right. Because you scared. You know the reason why some of y'all can't even love your sons and your daughters? You know the reason why you can't love your sons and your daughters the way that you need to is because you live in secret. And you see that they want to be happy and live in their truth. But because you can live in your truth, you want to condemn them, beat them up, and tell them about what the Bible say. You know, the Bible also talks about telling the truth. The Bible also talks about living a lie. That's what the Bible talks about. It does. The Bible talks about that. But see, like I said, it's people like a Marcus Rogers. It's people like a Marcus Rogers that would rather preach hate and this ain't even about just the LGBTQ, but it is about the LGBTQ because you would rather preach hateful messages and talk about, oh, the, the, uh, the LGBTQ is responsible for this. The LGBTQ is responsible for that. Last time I checked, the LGBTQ really binds their own business. We don't have no problem until you make it a problem. Now listen, just like you got bad uh LG you got you got people out here that want to hit a lick, pull stunts, you got gay, you got straights out here who that like to pull stunts and hit a lick. You got bad people in everything. You got folks in the LGBTQ that love to mess with other folks' men or other people's women. You got straight folks that love to mess with other folks' men and other folks' women. Period. So, so explain that one to me. Explain that one to me. Hold on one second.
So my thing is this. I just want to know. Hey, Beanie. I just want to know. Hey, Will, I'm going to call you as soon as I get done. My thing is this. <clears throat> my thing is this. While we beating up on all these people. While we beating up on all these people. Why don't y'all talk about the murders since y'all got such a huge following? One of the Bynum got 500 and some followers on Facebook. Uh, uh, what's that boy's name? Um, Marcus Rogers has 800 and some followers, 800 and some thousand followers. But yet and still, y'all don't talk about these murders. Y'all don't talk about these children that have been raped and molested. Y'all got such a hiko bobo shandidiosata. He coming in the hondo didiosa. Y'all got all of this, but you don't bring awareness to what's going on. Forget your tithes, forget your offering. But these children, these children, these children, these children are the ones. That, that, that fill up your churches. These children are the ones that sit in these pews. These children are the ones that eventually grow up to be adults. And again, what about the children? Remember when we were children? And if not for those that loved us and who cared enough to show us where would we be today? Where would we be at today if somebody didn't care for you? Period. Where would we be at today if somebody did not care for you? Somebody loved you in spite of. Where does the love for these babies? Let's forget all these grown folks. Forget all the grown folks. Forget all the grown folks. Forget all the adults. What about the children? What about the children? What, what about these babies? What, what, what about these babies? What about these babies? What about these babies? Little Malia Davis was killed by a straight man that robbed her of her innocence, raped her, and killed her, and drug her remains to another state. I don't hear none of y'all talking about this. See, here's my thing. I have more people following me than what it looks like. Y'all, is people behind the scenes love to get you knocked down because they want to take away your voice. I'm still here. They took down my first Facebook page because I had 5,000 some people following me on that page. And here it is. I have to fight. Meanwhile, these ignorant so-and-sos got so many th hundreds of thousands of people following them and they preach you in circles. They're not preaching nothing that's valid or worth you sitting there listening to. They preaching something to make you get emotional. They preach something to put up status to make you emotional. But they don't say nothing concern that is concerning the society and where we are as a people. Well, they don't, they don't say nothing. They don't say nothing that's relevant. They say a but they give you a bunch of smoke and mirrors, a bunch of ba 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 they give you all of that. And here you go. Woo! Shadabadio Sanda. Woo! Shadabadia Sinda. Yay! Kadadia Haya. Baby, y'all just get all gibberish and, and excited about nothing. You know what I get excited about? And you know what I can I can get a good praise break on? Is when somebody's life has been saved. Somebody's life has been saved. Somebody that should have been dead is alive. Y'all give so much wasted energy to the devil. And he's sitting back looking like, 
What? I had nothing to do with that. Oh, the devil made me rape that little girl. The devil, that, that was nothing but a demonic spirit. So what about, so what about responsibility? What about to y'all grown a nasty women and men that raped these babies? So now you're not responsible for your own actions. Oh, that's ooh ba 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 so you're not responsible for your actions. The devil made you do it. Oh, oh, baby, y'all want some cuss words to come out of my mouth. So the devil made you do it. The, de the devil made you take your pants down and unzip them and insert that into some innocent child. The, de the devil made you do it. Oh, okay. Whoo, Father. Well, then how about this? The devil's going to make me, the devil's going to be in full effect and in control when I decide to tear off and break my foot in your, yeah, the devil's going to be in full effect. Do you hear me? Baby, when I find out that you didn't did something to one of these babies, and they couldn't, whether they connect to me or not, I'm going to take this devil foot. Y'all see this? I'm going to take this devil foot, baby, and I'm going to wear it off. I'm going to stick, baby, you're going to be talking with my toes. Okay, I'm going to go bypass your end colons and everything like that. Baby, I'm going to swirl on down through your mouth and my toes going to be talking like this. Hello. Yeah, I'm going to stick this size 11 down through your guts. Do you hear me? The devil going to make me do it. Just like you say the devil made you rape somebody. Uh-huh. Yeah. But babe, 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 I'm not playing. I'm not playing. You don't get to. You don't get to say this type of stuff. And, and blame it on somebody. You don't get to do these type of things and then blame somebody else. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. It don't. So anyways, y'all. Uh, I'm going to say this before. I said it before and I'll say it again. I don't have a dislike for Marcus Rogers. I don't. But we are truly helpers. We are truly helpers one to another. And it's my job to help you. It's my job to help you. Out your stupor, stupidity. It's my job to help you. And you out here saying stupid stuff about people that ain't got nothing to do with none of this stupid stuff that you want to blame them for. You want to blame Obama for, for Virginia, I think it was Virginia, uh, having a candidate that openly admitted to being a pedophile. The gaze is not responsible for that. The gays is not responsible for these grown a men that choose to do the stupid stuff. The gays are not responsible for that. The gays are not responsible for that. The gays are not responsible for these uh, for Donald Trump. The gays is not responsible for these men. Being pedophiles and all kind of things like that. The gay oh, Obama is not responsible for the gays. But I and you, you said we worship Obama. Let me help you out. Let me help you out. We don't worship Obama. We are just excited to see a black man in office. We are just excited that he did some of the great things that he did. Meanwhile, a lot of y'all black folks are looking for Obama to be the savior of the world. You're looking for Obama to do this, that, and the third. Pull you out. 
give you this, give you that. He can't. He is limited to the things that he can do. Meanwhile, he's really a puppet. He's really a puppet in the office. The man did the best he could while he was there. But y'all black negroids wanted him to be the savior of the world. He couldn't. He cleaned up the best he possibly could in office. He was there for eight years. And he was the best, classiest president that I have seen thus far. That I have seen thus far. Since Trump has been in office... Since Trump has been in office, there has been so much hate in this world. Babe, I'm talking like, I mean, like for eight years, I feel like getting my app out. I feel a Hondo Boko Shia. For eight years, Obama worked his behind off. His wife remained classy. The children remain classy. Meanwhile, meanwhile, hey, Kelly, meanwhile, a lot of these Republicans and things of that nature calling him and his wife monkeys and stuff like that. And yet and still, yet and still, they remain classy. There was so much peace to my to my understanding. There was peace in the land. There was peace in the land. It was peace. It was I, we didn't have we didn't have all of this. KKK violence and stuff like that. We, we didn't have that. We didn't have that. We didn't have that. But now that Trump has been in office, it's like there has been a, 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 a something that's went across the land. And everybody has lost their natural born mind. It has been... Listen here, I don't, listen here, I ain't never, I ain't never in my life, I ain't never in my life seen as much killings as, I, as I've seen with Trump. It is what it is, y'all. Y'all can say what y'all want to say. Boom, whatever. But y'all want to admit that. Y'all, y'all, y'all want to admit that because y'all don't like Trump. I mean, y'all don't like Obama. Y'all say that he's a sellout. He was the classiest black man that I've seen thus far yet. We didn't have all this drum in the White House. We didn't have all these checks being written to side pieces and carrying on. We didn't have that. We didn't have that. We didn't have all of this craziness going on. Every week is something else. Every week is something else. <sighs> anyways. Anyways, it is what it is, y'all. People like Marcus Rogers, it's sad. Because you preach and spew hate and you blame a class of people just like what these ignorant, some of these ignorant white people do. You blame a class of people for stupid stuff that's going on and you're not even educated or informed as to who these people are. You like to blame them because they're easy targets. It won't work. It won't work. It won't work. And you think the Lord is pleased? You think the Lord is pleased? You, you think the Lord is pleased? I think not. God is not pleased. He is not pleased. And the word says he will not be mocked. He said, woe unto you that say the Lord said, and he ain't said nothing. Woe be unto you that say, thus said the Lord, and thus said the Lord didn't say nothing. Woe be unto y'all liars that say y'all got a word from God and ain't nothing but y'all are nothing but tinkering symbols. That's what the word says. But see, for those of you all who play dumb and walk around here with that foolishness, you're the ones that are taken, you, you get taken advantage of easily. You get taken advantage of easily. Mm-hmm. 
But Benny, look at this. They said the same thing about Dr. King. Now look at them now. They're trying to sit up here and discredit Dr. King and talk about all the side chicks and stuff and, and the white women that uh, Dr. King was messing with. Why y'all just not coming out with this stuff? Why y'all just not coming out with this stuff? Is it hard for me to believe that Dr. King might have been messing off and had side pieces? No, it's, it's not hard to believe. But what does that matter at this point? What does that matter at this point? Who cares? The man worked for the civil rights of the people. Whether black, brown, Jew, Gentile, gay, straight, we are all God's children. Child, they said, yeah, they did say that. They did say he was gay, but I mean, who coming forth and said that they slept with Dr. K? Who? <sighs> Anyways, I want y'all to have a great day. Think about what I said and share the video. Talk to you soon. Follow me on Instagram, okay? Talk to y'all later. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hope all is well with you. Listen, make sure you hit that notification thing down there. And also, hit that bell, okay? Hit that bell so that you're never left out, you're never confused, you're never wondering as to what I posted, was I on, or are you guys lost, or, hmm. It, what is King really doing, okay? Just make sure I hit that notification. And make sure you subscribe. I love you guys. Talk to you later.